Hi, I'm Bran, and I love Hallmark movies. I'm Dan, and I despise Hallmark movies, but love a mailbag episode. And yeah. this is the Deck the Hallmark podcast. The Hallmark podcast. Deck the Hallmark, it's his podcast. Brandon and friends host this podcast. We hope you like this jolly podcast. Oh, oh boy. My gosh. Wow, Dan. Can you believe it? We're together again. Conditions are perfect, Bran. They are perfect. I, You know what? I just decided I'm not going to leave my house dur- uh, during Christmas break. I'm going to nah. stay at home. Stay at home. I'm going to stay at home. You do you. And so that's what we're doing today. That's we're, what we're doing today. Uh, we're doing a mailbag episode, Dan. Brian, I, you know, I'm very excited. Brian Harold uh, actually is protesting mailbag episodes, if you can believe it. Um yeah. He's, he, he's just against it, which it's wild to see how many things Brian is against these days, you know? But he was okay with the preview show. I, it's I weird. Know. I can't keep track. I can't, I can't keep, keep up. track. But this yeah. is, Brian, this is a fun week of year. It's fun week because we're recording this before Christmas, but it's going to yeah. air after Christmas. Because after Christmas, tell we, anyone. we take the week off. That's what we do. I'm also in your mm-hmm. chair because you're at home, and I have to look at the camera and your the monitor's nowhere near the camera, so I can either look at your face or the camera. Cannot do both. Um, so that'll be fun for those watching on Philo, philo.tv slash DTH. This could be a fun time. Um, yeah, I think this is what uh, TV was made for. That's right. Oh, yeah, for sure. If you if you have a, the old OLED, get your OLED a oh, workout yeah. with the Deck the Hallmark uh, mailbag episode. Um, oh, yeah. That's what the OLED, all those individual pixels, Bran, when you, it's when it's us and I'm looking off camera, Pops. It's when it pops. OLED actually stands for only uh, living uh, every day. <laughs> only living every day. That's not yeah. bad. That's not bad. Um, <laughs> only living. Oh, what are you doing? I'm just OLED. I'm just OLED. I'm OLED. What are you doing? I'm OLED. I'm OLED. It's the new OLED's the new YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, that needs say. to be a shirt oled it OLED's actually is oled living. is a step down from yolo isn't it like yolo is like you only live once like really go for right. it oled is only living every day which is like the bare minimum that you could do so i feel like yolo should maybe be the new oled but i'm not here to question you yolo sparrow though yolo i've sparrow. always said that so what we do uh, here brand is we get, we get a, lot, a lot of a lot of them so many uh cards over the holiday season, and I'm sure they'll continue to to creep on in after the holidays, and we'll maybe do mailbag part two. We get a lot of shipments in. We usually open those when we get them. Um, right. But the cards we like to save to open up together. So this will be extra fun considering how we're not together. And uh, and we'll just take turns reading the cards, um, uh-huh. and and, uh, and we'll uh, we'll go from there. Now. Another point of note, uh, just for you uh, DTHers out there, you you double decker heads who love your deck the homework history. This is uh, a point. In fact, this episode is not produced by Tracy or by Brandon Gray. I am producing yeah. a little bit of it, but I'm going to call myself assistant producer. This is the first episode that we're going to say technically is produced by Aaron Shea. Technically, wow! Because she's and here, she's getting thrown into the ideal. The, that's right, ideal scenario. It's so easy to produce an episode that's a mailbag episode where no one's in the same room together. But she's here, yes, all the way from New Hampshire, which is in another world, and she's she's producing the show. So just put mark it down, mark it down. You want to go down. first, now, Brand? New Hampshire is a part of the Americas. It is a part of the Americas, North okay. America. Yes. Is it a part of Canada? We don't know. Um, okay. This says Brian, Brian, and Daniel. Okay, I'm last. I don't know who Whatever. Daniel is. It's fine. But, no, it's fine. Um, on the back of the card, it says, hopefully you can read the back side of the card. All right, so far so good. I've got news. You um, can. <laughs> and then an asterisk that says, my dog Shadow loves to go paddle boarding. She's 15 and a half. How, I, I, how long I currently are we yeah. going to go with you saying asterisk? Instead of asterisk. Sounds like the rest of my life. Oh, this is a good boy, though. Oh, my goodness. Merry Christmas. Love Yumi, Mark, and Shadow. And oh, I'm that is a good boy. Right oh, look at Shadow. Now, the back of this card says, Merry Christmas. Wishing you all the best. Thank you for all of the joy you bring us all. XO, Yumi. P.S. Um, ornament from Liberty... 
uh, London. Oh, we got an amazing Le- ornament from her. I opened the ornament. Okay. We didn't open the card. The ornament is already on the tree. It's Santa playing okay. bagpipes. We need to put it on the socials. It looks great. Looks fantastic. Great. This is also something about malt balls. Malt. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. We got malt teasers. Brian and I already knocked them all out. Uh, turns out I do don't like whoppers. I do like mall teasers. I learned something new about myself. Um, you, you know, you just got to stay open, brain. That's the key. Um, well, because you don't want the balls to be full of malt. You just want it to be a little a little tease. tensy bit of malt. Uh, That's right. Did I did I hear you correctly that the dog is paddleboarding at fifteen and a half years old? You did hear that correctly. Yes. Wowzers! That is yeah. that's something. Also, I think it says um, Parsi piss. It does not say Parsi piss. I promise you that. <laughs> I, I'm it losing could a little bit of the be end anything here. other than Parsi piss. But there's the dog paddle boarding. I love it. It and looks great. Uh, that's that's looks high quality great, stuff. Brandon. Thank you, Yumi, Mark, and Shadow. Thank you very so sweet. much. Very Yumi. sweet. All right. Next up, we have Emily Petraglia. Yeah. Got to see Emily again at Christmas. Mrs. Con. Walker to you. Mrs. Walker. That's right. Uh, the fro- <laughs> this card is great. The card is all her and Andrew. It's fantastic. It's, oh, look it's at that. all her and Andrew. It, is, it says, Merry Christmas. Love the walkers. We love our double-decker crew. It's the two of them together in front of the step and repeat. They're singing karaoke. Uh, their backsides are facing each other. That's as good as I can do right now on this podcast. Um, what a what a, what a a time. Back set has a very kind note. Uh, Bran, Dan, and Brian. Brian is last, as he should be. Thank you for yet another <laughs> magical year. You bring so much joy to me this year when I needed it the most. This community you've built is amazing, and I'm so honored to be a part of it. Now, before I keep going, we're, you're going to hear a lot about this community. We're not selling this community, but we kind of are because it's amazing. BrambleJamPlus.com. You can go sign up at the Deck the Hallmark Plus tier or higher. Get the Facebook group. There's a cookie exchange, a card exchange. Your life will never be the same. Oh, yeah. You got it. Um, uh, Emily also says, I appreciate go- you going along with all the bits and jokes that come up, especially creams, pillows, and my marriage this August. Oh, yeah, that's right. She married Andrew Walker. I forgot. I can't wait for Christmas Con and Bramble Fest 23. Wishing you the happiest of all holidays. May you cherish the time with your family always. Emily Petraglia Walker. So she did a hyphenate. So she did. That's nice. She, it's good. No, no, no. It's modern. I love it. It's good. That's Emily's right. her own woman. She's not known by the Walker legacy. She's known by her own legacy, but also that's is right. proud to be a Walker as well. Thank you so much, Emily. God bless you. That's right. Uh, I got some from BJ Kellogg. Oh, oh these are always great. A postcard, uh, I bet. Apparently, BJ visited Arizona, the <laughs> Pakash, some sort it's of. It's not Pakash. Park. It's not Pakash. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. Uh, and BJ says three days of rain in the desert, way too much family time and only lifetime on the hotel TV. Signed BJ Kellogg. <laughs> uh, thank you, BJ Kellogg. <laughs> Um, uh, I love BJ Kellogg, dude. His, his, uh, letters are always so great. The, whatever they he are. writes is like, he's like, I'm going to have another mojito. I'm here. I thought I'd send you this card. Very, very thoughtful. He, he's a, tra- a traveler, a traveler, a lot in the Southwest though. A lot in the uh, Southwest. Always, always poking around at new places. That's right. Though. But I mean, I think one time he sent us a postcard from Mexico, but it was also from Colorado somehow. I may be misremembering that. Confusing. Yeah, that was no, years I ago. What you're talking about? Yeah, um, we have a card here from Portland, Oregon, to the guys at Bramble Jam Studio. That's, That's how us. this is sent. I just still don't know who it's from. I'm going to read it now. Um, well, this is fancy. Some trees on the front. It says "Merry Christmas." Um, Merry Christmas, Double Deckers. May your holiday season be filled with hot cocoa and eggnog, quaint small towns, gingerbread houses, baking montages, slow dancing to Silent Night, tree lighting ceremonies with everyone from the town, Christmas scavenger hunts, fake snow, secret princes or princesses, and more. Aaron Ward. Aaron, thank you so much. What a great card. I love it. So kind. So kind. I love it. Uh, Up next, we got a card in cursive. That's going to so, be tough for you to read. I guess saddle up those horses, but it's a very, it's a very uh, cute Santa. It as is. you can see, that's yeah. a cute Santa. Santa always, looks like uh, he's kind of peering in the chimney there. I don't know. I don't know, Brian. I don't know if I'm with you. I don't know. I think it's all above board. You don't think so? He's not peering in. He's getting ready. Gosh, 
gosh. You say so. Dear, dear Brand Dan, Brian, and Panda, Merry Christmas. Thank you for bringing us all together, such a special community, and Bramble Fest, the best. Wishing you and your families the <laughs> sweetest and most joyful holiday. Uh, this is my first Christmas card of the season. better than par and pissy or whatever you said earlier. <laughs> uh, this is my first Christmas card of the season. I work to <laughs> deliver. I don't know. Uh, I work to from- deliver is how that card ends. <laughs> that card ends with I work to deliver. Yes, and this is from... No, it doesn't. This is from Leanne. Rhymes? Uh, Leanne Rhymes sent us a card? Leanne, Leanne Yam, Yamanako. Oh, no. Gene Yamanako? Yes. Come on, man. That Le- makes more sense. That makes more sense. Gene Yamanako. Gene, you're wonderful, and don't let Brand butchering your last name make you feel <laughs> and any your first name and, and your, your first name, name. Yeah. guys you can't keep sending cards in cursive this is that's no, cool you and can unusual that is that is legal tender in writing you can send it in cursive we that's should be able what, um, leanne yamanic what whatever you that's, said that's probably what um notaries uh, do <laughs> hear that they probably, they, they probably are writing <laughs> cursive too. i don't know who sent this yet Oh, I do. It's the, there's a return address. This says to the boys. It's got him a pants sticker on it, and it's got. I'm not going to show her address. It's got uh, Austin in in New Hampshire, so that tells me it's Lynn. The front of it is the night where the video messed up on the Facebook group. Oh brand, yeah, and it says Oh Remember Holy Night, night eight one twenty two August first. That was man. Those were the days. Yeah, that was a that was a psychedelic time to be had. Uh, and then it says That's Greenville for you. Which yeah, I love. I'm um, just getting all white there from the lights. Uh, boys, uh, this was a night 14 of us will never forget. Thank you for all of the laughter and shenanigans. Hope y'all have a Merry Christmas and cheers to continued success in 2023. Lynn Austin. Uh, this is great. And also, this is something you could have experienced on the Facebook group through Bramble Jam Plus. Uh, th- this is this Mailbag is becoming more and more a just a double-decker thing. But we still give it out for everybody to listen. Uh, it's almost like a giant, a giant commercial, really, which I'm not upset about. Um, you know, and that you can see it on Philo TV is even better. Brand. Now this is from our good friend Jen Kirkman. Oh, okay. Um, photo taken by me of Christmas displays in store windows, New York City, 2018. I I'm I don't really know what's going on in these pictures, but they're also delightful. Uh, they are of windows, which great. is great. Fantastic. Um, th- this says dear brand, Brian and Dan and Panda. I wish you all the best and a hot shot deal making in 2023. You guys are the best underlining the best. Lots of love, Jen. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Seasons greetings. Happy new year. Bah humbug. Love Jen. Very I sweet. Mean, gosh, she's just the most thoughtful. There's just no way. Around. I love, I love window uh, displays. I Aren't we going to uh, do some judging that. or something in that regard, Brand? Um, did I see an yeah. email about that or am I mistaken? Yeah, I don't really know what to do about that right now, but we'll talk about that off air. <laughs> great. Good talk. We'll have a full conversation. It'll be great. We'll see you again one day, buddy. Um, we can talk. Yeah. But we can open up the windows, and we can talk through the screen. Oh, that'd be it'd sweet. Be, it'd be cool, won't it? All right, I got one here. What are you doing? Are you going on to the next one? Even though it's No, I'm just getting. I'm just preparing. Hey, let's preparing live in heart. the moment. Okay, I'm sorry. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand you times. You always say that. You always say that. OLED. <laughs> um, OLED. Um, <laughs> I live is, every day. This is sent to deck the Hallmark Christmas cards is who this okay. sent, is sent to. And that means it is from Higbones. Uh, but he wrote <laughs> Danny Higgins. Danny Higbones. Danny Higbones. Higbones. And this is, we've got a little 3D situation going on. Uh, it looks like there's a snow globe. It appears to be a green truck. It also says to press wow. here. So I'm going to press here, hold it up to the mic. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The snow, dude, the snow globe fills with snow, Brian. Oh, my gosh. Dude, it's your card. This is just for you. I mean, come dude, on. Are, cards are really revolutionizing the game. They don't make them like uh, they used to. Uh, of cards. <laughs> That's all they do is make them like they used to. <laughs> they just make cards exactly how they used to. But not that you wouldn't have made dude, that. This is phenomenal. It's like a snow globe card. 
I don't know how much it costs, but I'm going to look at the back of the envelope if I can find it. I think I already threw it on the floor. It doesn't um, say on the back of the card? Yeah. Dear the guys, in quotes, Merry Christmas to you all, and thank you for creating this community. From humble beginnings in Brand's echoey basement, well, we kind of conflated Panda's basement and Brand's dining room, but I'm not here to correct anyone. Echoey? Echoey, how dare you? Go back and listen, Brand. It was pretty echoey. Uh, mm. Echoey basement, you managed to create an international network that spreads joy and love and that supports all of us when we need it. P.S. This is a real evergreen magic snow globe. Merry Christmas. Love. Wow. Big bones. What are you going to wish for, Dan? I've already wished for it, and I, oh. I, I can't tell you or it won't come true. Wow. All right, plan it close to the vest. But if you could learn how to read cursive, that would help a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, this is from our guy Ernie, the Ernie, Deli Santi family. The Deli Santis. We love them very much. Jody and, and Ernie of, and their son Joey. Wonderful, a lot of wonderful, wonderful, people. wonderful pictures Man, here. So great. Says Merry Christmas from the Della Sandy family. Um, uh, we hope you have a jolly good Christmas and a happy new year. I think they maybe went to London. There's some pictures there. So there you go. How about Ooh, that? Man, those were those I, are from the old phone booth there. Like it's Dr. I Hill. like that um, th uh, him and his wife at Bramble Fest made the cut of photos. I don't know if that was just for us or if it went out to everybody. But I don't know. Thank you. We'll take it for sure. Sweet people. Got to see both of them at the Double Decker Dinner at Christmas Con. And Love Ernie them. at Christmas Con is wonderful. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, just the best. Next up, we have uh, to deck the Hallmark uh, and from the Davies family. The Davies family, looking forward to this. This is like a fun picture card as well. Oh, wow. Um, from the Davies, Corey, Shannon, Finn, Archer, and Bash. Dude, you got a kid named Grizzly. They got Their youngest name is Bash. I love that he name. Put them in a wrestling ring and let's oh, just see Bash and Grizzly? I wouldn't take any bets on that. I wouldn't no, do it. I'm, no, um, Tons of pictures of Franklin and Bash and the gang. Is it is Franklin <laughs> one of them? No, Franklin and Bash is a TV show <laughs> from TNT. Uh, uh, Mark Finn, Paul. It's with Mark Paul. That's right. Uh, this is Finn and Bash. They're going to do a spinoff with just Bash. Uh, Finn, I'd watch that. I would in a heartbeat. Uh Finn, Archer, and so Archer and Bash are twins. They're both oh. six. I have six-year-old twins as well, Davies family. So good, good on you, and God bless you, and may the Lord keep you. Um, sending lots of love for a great 2023. This year has been an eventful one for the Davies dudes. That's in hashtags. They mastered the diving board, started learning wow. violin, attended Ooh. their first concert. It was Jimmy Buffett, of course. Can you imagine Franklin at Bash in a Jimmy Buffett concert? Does life get any better I, than that? It doesn't get any better than that, but yeah. also it makes me feel like we're just blowing it with our kids. Yeah, but they're not yeah, playing violin. They didn't play a violin or go to Jimmy, Jimmy Buffett. Buffett. But also, Gosh. like, can we make a Franklin and Bash movie? I know it got canceled, but they just go to Jimmy Buffett. Like, I'm here for that. <laughs> uh, so uh, they rode their first Amtrak train. Um, uh, Finn started first grade. Archer and Bash started kindergarten. So you got three. Two sixes and a seven. Right there in the thick of it. Boy, howdy. Uh, just, man, we should have sent you a card with some uh, baked goods. Uh, Marlo continues to keep us on our toes and is a constant source of entertainment well, for the Marlo? boys. I'm going to try to figure that out. Hold, please. Marlo uh, a dog or is it a baby? It's a dog. I got it. There's a okay. dog up here. It's a sweet puppy. Right. For sure. Oh, Marlo. Um, we hope to see you in 2023. Davies family, we hope to see you in 2023. Absolutely. Happy holidays to the whole gang. Thanks for all the laughs. Love, Sharon Davies. Thank you so we very much. the Davies? Yeah, Sharon, Sharon Davies is a, a double-decker. Great. Yeah. Uh, this card is from Nicole. Nicole Beattie. Wait till you meet says, our new employee. She's also a double decker. I mean, if you can remember her name, that would be great. <laughs> oh, oh shove off. Uh, this is to Bran, Dan, and mostly Brian. Mostly Brian? No. Oh my gosh. Don't read this it. is fantastic. This is Nicole as an elf with Antonio Kayon as Santa Claus. Come Clause. on. That's fantastic. That's just a quality card. Quality. Shout, shout out to the Falling for Basketball podcast with Antonio Kayon. Shout out. Uh, happiest holidays ever. 
with love from the K only fan group and Elf Nicole. How about that? That is a beautiful card. Thank you, Nicole, and shout out to the K only fan group. What a great fan group! Just a great fan group. Great follow. Great fan group. Really good stuff. Absolutely. Um, to Bramble Jam Studio, and this has a fun little like 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 font for Bramble Jam Studio across the middle there. Um, oh. This is from Stacy Coom. Stacy Coom. Uh, in I believe she's in California. If I'm dude, not mistaken, dude, have you have you heard about her mom, dude? So many things, but the main one, and I, I don't want to steal your thunder here. What she's got it going on, but and she's in the QAnon. Both, boy, that's not a Venn diagram you see often. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> QAnon and people she, are ugly. That's my joke. I don't have <laughs> to, I don't, and I don't she doesn't else. like Tom's. Yeah. yeah, doesn't like Tom's. Stacy's mom yeah. doesn't like Tom's. Yeah, that's close. She thinks they're uncomfortable. Stacy's mm-hmm. mom doesn't like Tom's. I mean, I guess, I guess it could work. Just let it. Let's happen. keep workshopping. Let's just keep workshopping and see what we come up with. Yeah. Um, yep. Yep. The true spirit of Christmas lives in your heart all year. Can I get an amen, Brian? Lives in amen, your heart that's all my year. Life. That's my life motto. It's your life verse. I, I feel that hard. Yeah. Thanks for all you do. Merry Christmas. Brandon, Daniel, Brian, Panda, Alonzo, Jax, Elizabeth, Sheila, and uh, Aaron. She added Aaron. She put her in there. <gasps> and put parentheses. Yeah, yay. In parentheses. And everyone Aaron, else made it. who helps make DTH possible. Thank you for all the time, energy, and effort that you all put in year-round, but especially at Christmas, to make Deck the Hallmark possible. Following along on this journey over all these years has brought more joy and laughter than I ever could have anticipated. Brandon and Daniel, you guys have created an amazing community from around the globe of people I watch better what for uh, watch better. Gosh, what a loser. You don't even know how to read. Oh, she combined. Watch be there for one another in so many ways. Thank you for sharing your friendship with all of us. Here's to many more years to come. Merry Christmas, Stacey Coombe. Stacey Coombe, what a kind card and a great card. Was it card incursive? Too. Was it, it was incursive? incursive, yes, and I loved every right. second of it. It was yeah, expertly except, written. Except you had a hard time with it like a, like a little baby boy. Well, I got all the words right. Uh, pr- prish pissy. <laughs> <laughs> I swear it said prish pissy. It did not say prish pissy. Hey, speaking of prish pissy, let's prish pissy our way to a break, Dan. Let's do that's prish pissy right on out to a break. I'm going to guess the button. We'll be right back here on Deck the Hallmark. Top right. I, I pressed okay. it, but nothing. So what I did, Brand, and this is why I'm assistant producer and not producer like Aaron Shea is, is what I did with the intro is, is I faded us right on out of that intro and I felt really bright. I felt like I was ahead of streets ahead. And then when we went to the, to do the break intro or outro or whatever, wasn't there because I had faded us all the way down to nothing. So it's okay, but you figured it out. And that's the important thing. Figured it out. That's right. One step at a time. That's the important thing. Uh, Up next, we have a letter uh, from uh, Jennifer Kellogg. Jennifer Kellogg. Wife. I don't know. Maybe we got two Kellogg's. Warmest wishes is what Jennifer says with some nice flamingos. Okay. Yeah. 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 I didn't know that flamingos celebrated Christmas. I had no idea. Oh, they do. Christmas is for everyone. We have a bunch of flamingo fans. You didn't know that? Dude, are you ready for this? I'm ready. This is another BJ Kellogg letter. (laughs) Double the uh, BJ Kellogg. Have a festive and Merry Christmas. Thank you for all that you do. Uh, Best uh, to everyone in 2023, BJ Kellogg. Wow. BJ Kellogg with the double the love. So it could have been, it it could have been the Arizona postcard was not a Christmas letter. Was, is Jennifer or Jennifer and BJ the same person? <laughs> BJ BJ remains one of the biggest mysteries. I would love to meet Sarah, BJ. Sarah Please Nick. reach out when you're anywhere near. I don't know. I kind of like the mystery. I, I kind of like <laughs> you. Don't, there's someone, you heard it here first. Brand does not want to meet you. <laughs> it's not that I don't want to meet you. It's that I like want to keep the mystery alive. Maybe you could wear a mask, like like on the mask singer. <laughs> you come up and you just be like, oh, I think BJ? that would give it away. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, yeah, but I would still not know them. But we could t- I, get the information we needed. Right. <laughs> you, we, you and I are on the same page. <laughs> you love the mass Singer. Huge, huge mass Singer boy. Yeah. OLED. 
Uh, I, I, like I, I, I'm doing what I can here. We got three more on my end. Somebody, somebody in the group just says uh, the J and BJ is Jennifer Barbara Jennifer Kellogg. Just spit on here. These yeah. are good questions, everyone. Yes. I don't know. We've never heard them called Jennifer. Always BJ. Always BJ. But the little sticky note on the top with the address says I'll Jennifer. Give the address too. Uh, <laughs> so kidding. I'm kidding. I would never do that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's a great, that's great. I don't know. Um, Barbara Jennifer. So this is to deck the hallmark from Marielle Abbott. Marielle Abbott. Um, he's gonna In relation to Bill. Oh, I'm sure he sends his cards all the time. <laughs> this is the fanciest cease and desist I've ever, I've ever gotten. <laughs> it's a little joke. With love. A little cease and desist joke out there for those we of you at it. home watching. We love it. Um, Merry Christmas. See, uh, tis the season to be jolly. This is Marielle and her two kitties. They look amazing. So adorable. Look at that. And it says, with lots of love and treats for Marielle, Milo, and O'Malley. The last cat's name is O'Malley. O'Malley. It's an, it's an Irish cat. Top of the morning, meow. <laughs> meow. Meow on the blarns. They're always hey, meow after uh, me, Lucky Charms. <laughs> it's the meow. Good bit. It's the meow schmellows. Uh, <laughs> meow, 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 meow. Lucky Charms and Blarns and stuff. O'Malley, O'Malley getting a lot of play. Milo, on the other hand, just sitting over there, Milo licking his paws. Cross. Milo, yeah. no, we don't like you, Milo. Yes no. to O'Malley, though. I'm sure they're both O'Malley. wonderful. O'Malley. 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 Yeah. Hey, Dan, just a reminder, we have one digital card from Meredith if you want to try to... Oh, I, uh, I yeah. No, no, no. I did not open it. She sent it, and I did not open it, but I, I can find it. Don't worry. Um, I, This is from Julie. We love Julie. Uh, this is very a very fun card. It says, Holly Jolly, wishing you a holiday season filled with joy. Love, Julie. And it's got like an animated um, a, a painting, maybe. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I'm not... From Julie, just Ju- from Julie, just Julie. From Julie, just she's Julie. Got, a, got it. She's got a lot of books there. She's got a lot of books there. So big, big Ooh, reader. Yeah, big reader. Uh, Brand, Brian, and Daniel. Daniel, your last man. Um, Merry Christmas times eleven. Wishing you a Christmas that's merry and bright. Hope it's big fun. Maybe six. Love, Julie. Thank you, Julie. Wow, Very Julie. kind. Fantastic. Uh, having a hard time finding this. I thought she sent it to Dan at Deck the Hallmark. Maybe she sent it to Hello at Deck the Hallmark. Um, I'll, I'll move over there uh, real quick. Yep, it's a, it's a hello. Don't worry. Okay, great. Okay, great. Do you have one more physical card? Uh, I've got two more physical cards and a okay. digital boy. So okay, uh, great. Let, let's go ahead and do this digital one so I don't forget about it. Um, there's a long letter. Uh, I don't see the link for the Cart, what's going on? All right, I, I, I'm going to read this email and then see if it Dan leads me to the cart. figures out tech. <laughs> it's not the tech, tech, Bran. The tech I have. It's finding the card is different. Hi, DTH guys. I am huddled in the hall closet, typing this as quickly as I can because there are some carolers outside. They've been there for five minutes and they're demanding <laughs> figgy pudding. I don't even know what that is. I love this. I love this. Mary is so wonderful. Uh, I just want to say thank you to Brian, Bran, Dan, Panda, Alonzo, Jax, and Patrick, deep breath, for being so wonderful, fun, and kind. The Facebook group has been a source of laughter and joy this year, and the Double Deckers real, are really our good friends. I am so grateful you've not only created a funny podcast, but have cultivated a lovely community of kind and downright goofy people. Okay, now the carolers are saying they won't go until they get some. I think I, uh, I think one of them has a pitchfork. All I've got in my pantry are, is a bag of prunes. Maybe I can toss them out the upstairs window and to placate the people. Fantastic. I hope all of you have a blessed Christmas season with your families and that you uh, find great joy in looking back at all you've given to the community this year. A children's book, an eight-hour live stream of you driving down 95, Bramble Fest year two, Lose Perfect Morning Parody, anybody? Fresh Baked Fudge, a children's book, Dan opening his heart to the laugh emoji ways, and of course, the most important thing, Rippy Morgan, established 2022. Thank you, Bran, Brian, and Dan for being you and doing all that you do. Now I think they're angry. This is a full-on mob. They've stopped singing and started saying, give us figgy pudding or we'll be putting you in the ground. 
Somebody's <laughs> trying to make a Molotov cocktail in an eggnog bottle. I think I better call 911. If you don't hear from me again, it's been a good run. You guys are the best. I pray you have a Merry Christmas and maybe even a happy, a happy, a happy, a happy, a happy, a happy <laughs> new year from Meredith Lavanovich. Wow. Man. And I'm getting gosh. word that it's not a card, it's a Christmas note. Yeah, so, so the, I got it right. Yes. I thought this was like a, a Christmas yeah. scavenger hunt and it led me to a note. This is fantastic. Meredith's that was always, very kind. she writes what the best What was that emails. Lose Perfect Morning show? No, do you remember at Bramble Fest, there were, remember Lou was the guy that I believe saw Andrew naked? Do you remember this? And uh, then in the, in, in, in the bundle game, your team was called Lose Perfect Morning. Ah, uh, so yeah, it's all it's coming, all back coming together. It's all right. You all can't be in. bothered to remember things or names. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I've been trying to get people to understand that for years. <laughs> All right. We want to go back to you. I still got two boys left. You want me to do one more? Oh, good. Do one more because I only have one more. So you read one physical. I'll read right. a physical. Then you read a physical. So and then gonna... we'll go get our physicals. Physical. Let's get physical. Physical. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I got a Sheila Calloway, and then I've got a I don't know who it is card. So I'm going to go Ooh. Sheila first. I'm going to save the mystery card for the end. And that's how we're going to do this. We're that ready? could be a good play or a big mistake, Dave. We'll find out. a good play or a big mistake. I don't know how it's going to get better than Meredith's email. That was pretty wonderful. I mean, could have bothered to put a stamp on it, Meredith. Good Lord, <laughs> Meredith. God. Like, just be thoughtful for once. Uh, this is peace on the front with a Christmas tree in the middle. I love it. Peace. Great. Great. There it is. You can see oh, it yeah. beautiful. Um, great. Here we Follow go. TV slash DTH. Uh, I'm wishing you the special gifts of this holiday season. Peace, joy, and lasting happiness. Uh, see you in 2023. Be kind to Aaron Sheila. She wrote a great note. Merry McGarry Christmas and keep decking the <laughs> hallmark right into the new year. Sheila Calloway likes Kevin McGarry. I didn't no. even, I didn't even know this information, man. I'm, yeah. I'm on the cards about that. Last I heard, she uh, was, <laughs> she was, team, was team was team yeah, McNally. She, yeah, she thinks that season nine is the pinnacle of art of when yeah. calls art. Yeah. Um, right. Yes, I know you start 2023 uh, with more wedding veils and dog movies, but you'll yeah. power through on the remaining Christmas season energy. Hoping you'll share some of that energy with me because you and General Cullen have kept me busy this year. I can't believe how far we've come together thanks to me randomly following a link in an Andrew Walker Instagram post. I had no idea what I was getting in myself into, but I wouldn't change a thing. I thank you all. I think you all feel the same way about your journey. Thanks for all the fun you bring and the crazy you attract. It's fun watching the online friendships form in the community, then spill over into real life at events, seeing the inside jokes multiply and come to life. I love seeing Andrew and Antonio enter the community at Bramble Fest and immediately became one of us. The podcast episodes are at the core. I don't always agree with you. You know that, but I always have big fun, maybe six. Now it's on to 2023. First up the deckies. After that, who knows? I'm here for the ride. Holding on for dear life, Sheila Calloway. I got to be honest, wow. guys. There is not in my of my knowledge a more thoughtful human being on the planet than Sheila Calloway. The first care package I believe we ever received in our new studio was from Sheila Calloway. She realized we were running a borderline frat house away from home camp here, <laughs> and she knew we needed sustenance and couldn't figure out itself if DoorDash crashed. And so she sent us a, sent us a box and continued to yeah. do so. And we are where we are, thanks in large part to folks like Sheila Calloway. And this kind uh, letter should go as proof of that. Thank you so much, Sheila. I feel like Sheila's I may have... So sweet made a mistake she, and should have ended with that one. So what are you going to do? Well, let's find out. But she always sends the nicest boxes oh my uh, full of goodies of things that we've mentioned that we don't even remember mentioning. Yeah, and not it's my so goodies. kind. That's right. um, she is like a brown sugar pop tart. Clearly the best of the pop tarts that we would love to have around the office. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's br brown sugar cinnamon. Pop tarts. Pop tarts. Yeah. Uh, this is <laughs> this is a uh, 
I think somebody is running for office of sorts. This is happy holidays from Beth Ann Smith. Vote yes for third chair back to Bayside. A show <laughs> that the general public cannot oh, hear. Oh, man. Um, hey, 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 what's going on here? <laughs> Well, I'm so excited to remind you this holiday season to take a time out to enjoy this special time of the year with your uh, family and friends Friends forever. forever. Yep. Sending you the warmest wishes from the resident DTH heckler, Beth Ann McGraw-Smith. Fantastic. Paid for by the friends of Beth Ann to Bayside campaign. Did you you notice that after last year, me calling one of her children a tall drink of water? Water. She did not. We did not get another family Christmas card from Beth Ann this year. Um, it's crazy how that works. Hey, Beth Ann, now's the time. Uh, I hope you're listening. I'm here to issue a challenge. Are you ready? Are you ready? My beloved Clemson Tigers play your beloved Tennessee Volunteers in the Orange Bowl here in a few days. Just and a couple days. On the record, here's the, the wager. Should, should you choose to accept, Tennessee wins, you get to do an episode of Back to Bayside with Brandon and me. An episode, third chair, all your dreams come true. You T- pick the day. You pick the time. That's right. You'll be there. Well, let's, with the caveat, um, asterisk there, not asterisk. Asterisk is a different guy. He's big in astrology. Hello. He goes around. Oh, he's it's here. Asteri- yes. <laughs> what's up? What's hey, up, big, what, big guy? What, what sign are you, asterisk? I'm a, a scorpion. A scorpion. What's, what is Scorpio. Something? Wait, no, Scorpio. Scorpio. Yeah, I thought you were big into this. Yes, I am. Now, let me ask you this, big guy. When you look about the stars and you wonder about everything and you think about how this all came to be, do you look about a star and think that maybe, maybe, just maybe, <clears throat> maybe, just maybe, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. maybe, just maybe, that we're not alone? So are you arguing more for in like intelligent design and aliens or for astrology? All. Oh. And you call me big guy a lot. Is that something you do for everybody or is it just me? Depends on how big you are. <laughs> Got it. Thank you, Aster Rick. I am welcome, definitely going to talk to you again at some point later. Merry Christmas, big guy. Merry, Merry Christmas, Aster Rick. All right. Yeah. Beth Ann, if, if Tennessee wins, you can host an episode of Back to the Bayside with us. If they lose, um, I, this is a big ask. If they lose, you're wow. going to have to do two things. One, you have to uh, to actually sing Clemson's alma mater for the Facebook group video. Wow. And then at Bramble Fest. Clemson 20- Tigers, how is it going? It's having a good time with your friends. <laughs> and then and then at Bramble Fest 23, you have to wear Clemson gear all weekend. All wow. Weekend. I feel like this is pretty one-sided. Yeah. All weekend. All weekend. Clemson. Now, all right, no alma mater. Fine, no alma mater. Just Bramble Fest 23, Clemson gear all weekend that we get to choose. So we get to choose the Clemson gear you have to wear all weekend long at Bramble wow. Fest if Clemson wins. If Tennessee wins, you're back to Bayside third chair for a day. Deal? <laughs> for a day. For we, can a do day. Two, we can do two or three episodes and just knock them out. Okay, I see. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. see what you're saying. Make it. She can come down here. She can do three episodes with us on like a day we don't have anything. Te- okay. I'm getting word from our producer. Beth Ann says terrible deal. So she's not oh. making it. All right. I gave her a chance. That was, I mean, I don't know what else you want from me. I gave her she a chance. She was on board. Wow. Yeah. All right. Well, the, the ball's in your court. The football is in your court. I was going to say, Beth, Beth you can stay down here. We do three episodes and you can go to lunch with us. You can go to lunch. You can come down for three days. Well, all, for three days, no. One day. We can do three episodes. You come out to lunch with the with the with the gang. Dan, will you go on family vacation with her? I will not go on family vacation okay. with Beth Ann. No. Okay. Um, I think that's fair. How is that not fair? Um, she says that if Clemson wins, she is going to be the third chair for Back to Bayside. Hey, can you tell the producer to come talking to the microphone? No, that's not. Yeah, yeah. The producers should be talking in the microphone, but she'd have to walk in front of the camera. And I think she knows that uh, she's not doing uh, it. Um, yeah. she could walk around. You could walk around. Um. She's, uh, w- yeah, what Aaron is telling me is that Beth Ann says she's out on wearing the gear, but in for being third chair. And I don't under, that's not a bet. That's Beth not Ann. a bet. That's, that's nothing. I mean, I guess that's maybe a nothing. Can you read that again, just, Aaron? Um, maybe. 
I just like that doesn't find it again. doesn't make any. The whole wager is the, the the way a bet works is is if my side wins, you have to do something, and if your side wins, then I have to do something. She said no. But wait, isn't, wait, no. What, wait, go ahead. Wait, no. This deal is terrible. But if Clemson wins, I'm still on back to base side. Is she no. in for the deal? So wait, either way, she's on back to base side. No, that's no, not that's not the, how that's, that works. No, wait a no, 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 no. This is the wager. <laughs> you can't get both. Yeah, so you can't what, get both. What's the point if you get to do it anyway? Julie says this way, Beth Ann wins either way. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that's that, no. That is not that's the deal. Not, I offered is still on the table, Beth Ann. If you ever come around, she, the problem is, is she knows that Tennessee has some injuries, and she's not willing to put her money where her mouth Clemson's is. Clemson's like best defensive lineman declared for the draft. He's not playing, so we've all got things we're. We going all have our Beth. things. We all have our things. Everybody. All right, last card, Brand. Last card. All right. Uh, thanks, right. producer Aaron. Uh, job, this is producer from Aaron. the guys. It could be from anybody. There is a red truck. I'm opening it Ooh, up. I remember the. I remember this envelope. Red it's a good envelope. truck. Talking about a red truck. Uh, All right. You call me big guy. <laughs> Not you, Asterisk. I don't have time right now. I understand. All uh, right. God bless. Fair. We have a fun gold snowflake. That looks like a star to me. It says the light, the love, the joy of Christmas shines in you and all you do man that, that feels good that is so kind no one's ever said anything like that to i'm me gonna before. say it to you brand like i mean it the light the love the joy of christmas shines in you and all you do wow do you mean that or are you just saying i'm just it? reading it um all right well yeah uh this is wild because it is also a christmas card from lynn austin who I guess with the Christmas box of goodies, not my goodies, we were supposed to <laughs> open that card and then save this one. Um, it says, guys, maybe even Brian Harold. Uh, now that Bran and Dan are neighbors, I'm hoping y'all will have a DTH family barbecue. Oh, this is from the box. Be sure to write, invite Panda and feel free to invite Brian to Mary Mary Lynn Austin. She sent us some great looking barbecue stuff. Very, very excited oh, about it. Oh, yes. is also around for this. Producer coming back over. It's like we're getting live election results, which is great. What do you got? Uh, we have an update on the wager. Okay. Beth Ann says if the Vols win, she gets to do back to Bayside. Right. If right. Clemson wins, she'll wear the gear, but she still wants to do a back to Bayside. I see. I see what's this, going on. I see what she's saying. She's trying this, to. I, I do still think that Beth Ann is foggy on, what on a how a is. bet works. <laughs> right. Yeah. You uh, can't just get whatever you want. I'm going to hold firm with my wager, I think. Yeah. And we'll see if Beth Ann comes around. And if not, then, you know, it's a lost uh, lost, l lost opportunity, maybe, for her. Okay. Well, what, if, what if we worked it like a, uh, she can join us for one back to Bayside virtual. Oh, I got it. I got it. This is, good. This is great. This is great. We're doing things right. here. If, see, this if, is if, if Tennessee wins, she's got to agree to this, she she gets to come down. We'll do two or three in the morning, eat lunch, make a, make a morning of it. Well, uh, hey, we'll go to all you can eat sushi and hibachi. Oh, man. I mean, come on. The life's not getting better. And, and, and you know, that that's great. That's a big, come on, Beth. That's more than a fair. You're, you're, you're bargaining, bargaining for too much here in all honesty. If Clemson wins, you have to wear Clemson gear all weekend at Bramble Fest. Yeah. All weekend. And, and then you can do one back to Bayside virtually. Right. That is the agreement. That's as far That's as I'm willing deal. to go. That's uh, a good if deal. She doesn't, Dave, if she doesn't take that deal, she's dead to me. Good. She's that dead to harsh. you. That was a little harsh. I'm if sorry. she I, doesn't I got, take that I got, deal. I got caught up in the moment. Pastor Rick, do you call Brand big guy or is it just me? Uh, yeah, I call just about everybody big guy. I wouldn't <laughs> call Aaron big guy. That would be Yeah, rude. you wouldn't call Aaron big guy. Uh, That's right. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> uh, she seems wonderful. We have an okay. update. Go ahead. I'll allow she it. She says, get Go it ahead, to her in guy. writing and she's in. Get it to her in writing and she's in. Do you in have, what world look, is Beth, saying it out loud There are on so TV. many people that listen to this. This is better than writing. You know why? Because notaries, Bran, not yeah. important. <laughs> not important. I mean, I'm on Beth's side here. I was told to come into work at nine this morning and no one Who told you to come in at nine? Oh my gosh. Okay. Brandon okay. Gray. Hold on. Hold on. Are hold on. Are you serious? A little. You should a be shot of, on sight, sir. Little, uh, that is a little intense. <laughs> um, we were at dinner last and night. First, and first asked, day in the office. <laughs> she asked what time I mean, we show up to the office, <laughs> and I said, "I said around nine, which we do." But then this morning, 
when I decided not to go into the office, I did not let her know that. And that's on me. Yeah. But You're gonna, she has to get used to the way things are around here. Yeah, okay. All right, all right. So, Aster Rick, I get it. Um, all right. I feel like we did it, Bran. You feel like we oh, did it? Oh, gosh. Yeah. We did it so good. We did it so good. If you sent us a card and we're, we have not read it, we will do another one of these, assuming that there's you know a handful or, or so um, in the new year. That's right. But this has been so much fun. Um, it's about to be New Year's weekend, and uh, I want to know, Dan, do you have any New Year's resolutions? You know that I don't do New Year's resolutions, Brand. Okay. Um, I did wish that you would learn to read cursive, but... I do feel as though that's a long shot. I want everybody to OLED. You know what I mean? I want everybody yeah. to OLED. That's what I want. Do you want to spend New Year's Eve together? <laughs> I think that's the night of the Clemson game. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. So you're saying that football is Didn't we do something last year? Friendship? Didn't we like grill something last year for New Year's, me and you? Didn't we do that? I don't that? know, man. I don't we know. Should've. We should have. We should have. We're, we're neighbors. Let's figure it out. Get some like steaks. a good neighbor. That's exactly right. Get some right. steaks on the grill. That's right. Uh, all right. We're going to be back next week. Uh, another week. We'll ease into the year. So yeah, it's not going to be as full of a week as, as as normal, but we will be reviewing some stuff. We're looking forward to that. Until then, may we be the first to wish you, literally the first to wish first you. First to a wish you. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Deck the Homework is the That Sounds Fun podcast. It's produced by Tracy Noah's name. It's recorded live in, yeah, that Greenville, South Carolina. For more information on Deck the Homework, you can go to deckthehomework.com. You're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights on here at the studio. Feel free to listen. Feel free to turn it off, whatever you want to. But either way, thanks so much for your support.